Hey y'all, welcome back to part two at Garden of Whimsy. Let's pick up where we left off. So y'all, they have so many cute, like fall festive landscaping um, elements. This is super cute. They got like the little pumpkin scarecrow with this super cute little pumpkin patch. I love this. So across the way is a house. Now they said that the lands that were private would be marked as private. Now that land was not marked as private, but because it did have a like a marker on it, it said Zenny Zone. I said, listen, that that's that's close enough to private. So we we ain't gonna go around there. Look, there go that dog again digging into the ground. So this is a really cute little vegetable bed. Oh look at this they got some peppers well they got watermelon peppers tomatoes these look like are these radishes or onions some lettuce some carrots look at all of this this is super cute now these are pink these flowers are these sunflowers on the other side oh no well they look like them but i thought sunflowers just came in yellow look i, I don't know so this looks like a well not looks like this is like a little farm area okay oh look at the little rabbits oh so cute i'm so glad that the, that this land is still around but what we do know is that the residential spaces the spaces that not necessarily residential spaces but the places that do offer residence uh, residences they are longer lasting of course because there are people that's paying to be here as opposed to them just purchasing the land for people to come and look at so that definitely makes sense they have all the little bunnies with the little garden and stuff the plants in Second Life are always so beautiful with vibrant colors. These are more of the fall slash they have the Halloween themed landscaping over here. This is super cute with the little hats. Look, it's giving Tin Man. That's what it's giving. It's giving Tin Man. So what we got over here are these goats, some goats and some sheep. These beautiful neon pumpkins. It's super cute over here. Can you ride this horsey? What this sign say? Yep. So you can do some horse riding over here. And horse riding will be really nice over here because you got all of this open space to ride your horse around. They got a little, oh, my bad. Listen, because I'm trying to move out your way. They got a little pony. Is this like the little pony shed? Oh, look at this. It's stinking up in here. Why it's stinking like that? What this say? Click for horse riding instructions. Oh, look at this. It's giving petting zoo. That's what it's giving. Look at the little pigs playing in the mud. Oh, they're so adorable. That's what I want to do. I want to go to that drive up petting zoo. But I don't know if they have one in Chicago. I don't see why they wouldn't. I don't see why. I mean, it's October. And it won't be happening this year. But I do want to do that. They also have a. um. I love these animated cows. They also have, is he asleep? He, he's giving no longer with us. We're going to say that he's asleep because he ain't laid out, laid out. But um, during Christmas time, they do have like a drive through. Um, oh, the chickens, look at all the different colors. They do have like a drive through light show. I think it's like an hour from Chicago or something like that. And I do want to go to that. I wanted to take my son last year. I don't want to go to that. I'm like, why not? It's the lights. He's I don't want to see no lights. You're going to have to remember like, you know, I like to see stuff like that because I'm a lady. You know, he's like, I don't want to see that shit. I don't want to see that shit, but I really think that if he would have went, he would have liked it. But then I also try to make sure that I stay up out of that space because it's giving like those women who get with a man and a man. Don't ever look at the chickens like that because why are you even up in a house like that? There go that heat, y'all. 
it's given like you know when women meet a man and the man's like well you know i don't want to get married and then the woman will be like okay well you know i do want to get married but we can still date and then they date and then the woman is like well i thought that if i showed him that i could be a wife to him that he would then want to marry me and the man's like you're you're making this about you this ain't got shit to do with you i told you i don't want to marry you i don't want to be married it ain't just i don't want to marry you i don't want to be married period so i always kind of keep that concept when it comes to my son it's like okay if you say you don't want to do something i'm not going to be like well you don't you would like it if you did it he's like you show me a video i don't want to see that shit and so i'm like i'm not about to force you to do it. that that's how parent i am I'm, I'm not interested in forcing my child to do things that i want him to do especially when he has voiced his opinion as to why he doesn't want to do it I'm not interested in forcing him beyond that. Once I show him a YouTube video or something and he's still not interested in it, I let it go. It's like, okay, this is this is something that we're not going to be able to share in because he doesn't want to do it. And with my child, he will be very respectful, but you will know that he is not happy about it. So I don't, I don't force him into stuff like that because I feel like when you force your kid to do something that they don't want to do, then they have an attitude because they don't want to do it. And now you have an attitude because you're mad that you forced them to do something that they didn't want to do. And now they have an attitude about you forcing them to do something that they didn't want to do. In actuality, you should understand why they will have an attitude about you forcing them to do something that they didn't want to do. So I don't even cause myself that type of stress and strife. I just, it ain't, it don't be on the table no more. It's like, okay, we're not doing that. So they have a lot of cute little water features around here. I love this little cobblestone. Now this over here, I don't know. You know what? I feel like when there are spaces that seem like this, we were over here. We were over here. Yeah, this on the upset. So, okay. But you see what I mean? They have so many different levels and so many twists and turns. You couldn't get to this space from the main level. You had to walk all around to get to this space. And I do like that. I like that they made it different levels so that you have to really walk the land in order to find some of these more dipped off spots. Even if you pan out and you see a place, you do have to walk around it to actually get it to the spot and I do like that a lot of times um people don't really be exploring in second life people kind of just like they'll stand where they land and that'll be that but I do believe that when you come to a land like this you will walk around and explore it so every little twist and turn it seems like it's something new to see and I do like that they have this super cute tree house so you see how they have the private signs that Zenny Zone didn't have this sign. It didn't have a private sign. It just said Zenny Zone. I don't know. I still I still feel some type of way. So this is private as well. So that's somebody else's land as well. But like this space out here is a common space. I, I hope so. Yeah, it's given common space. So it's like you can walk around this, but don't go on to people residences. And I feel that. Look how pretty this is. Uh, I love fall colors. And you know what's so crazy? This makes me super excited for a... Uh, um, vlogmas it really really does now my mind frame is that I'm gonna do vlogmas that that's my mind frame that's what I'm going with and I'm sticking to it I really wanted to do I told myself you're gonna do vlogmas and vlogtober um because because I want to because I because I really really want to so this is really getting me excited about that now during uh these weekend sales they need to start uh giving boots they really need to start doing boots because I don't want to have to buy no boots full price. I don't want to have to do that. Last year, I was struggling in the winter time. And as also, can we get a coat where, where the titties ain't popped out? It's like, I understand that this is Second Life. And, you know, we love a good revealing one, two, buckle my shoe. You know, we love that. But give us the option to be able to really like give us the option to be revealing or not give me a coat that zips up the boobs are going to be boobing i don't i don't necessarily need my whole cleavage out i want to dress like the wind for the winter time 
So that's something that really grinds my gears with Second Life. It really is just the winter attire. It's like, can we get a little bit more, a little bit more material? So this is, it feels like it's transitioning from like fall to like a summer type vibe. And I think that this is cute. What's this? I saw the welcome in. Ooh. What's this? This is a cute little city area. How cute is this? So I am going to be on the lookout for nice winter clothes coming out um, for these weekend sales. Y'all, last weekend, Vandello has a couch. I got the couch. When I tell you the couch is crazy like they put mesh people in the couch like they're animated mesh people how cute is this t set and they come out they be dancing for you and stuff like that and i was just like has second life really gotten to that space where people are like people just don't be interacting the way that they do so we're gonna put animated mesh people inside of these couches because people just don't be doing what they need to do i don't know you know I don't be dating in Second Life, so I don't know if it's two people sitting on the couch, if the person would still come out, or if that's just like a single option. I don't know, but I thought that that was hilarious, but the mesh people are nice, and I feel like if anybody was going to do it, it would be Vandello. They've always kind of been like a cut above with the things that they do. Their meshing is nice as well, however, um, I do have a preference of how I like my meshing to be. I prefer my mesh items to be more on the thinner mesh side, if you know what I mean. I don't like thick mesh, you know, where the doors look thick and bulky and stuff like that. I don't like that type of meshing. I used to, when mesh first came out, I liked that type of meshing. But now that I am aware of how intricate the meshing can and is, or can be and is, I don't really like that. I like my mesh to be thin and realistic. Baby, okay. <laughs> you know what? He looked mad. He looked real mad. He was like, all I do is clean and clean and clean. My kitchen was clean last week. Sorry you missed it. Oh, I love that sound. I love that sign. So they got all of these cute little houses that they have decorated. I'm panning in here because... You know, I, I have to I have to keep myself tamed. But you know what? I'm I'm liking that I'm panning more. Look how cute this is with a little naked cake on the other side. He say I'm working my way around. They baking a cake together. How cute is this? Look at them. I love this. So the more I'm walking, the more cute, cute spaces that I am finding. And I'm really, really loving this. When I panned out, I saw that there was a lot going on with this land. But I was not um, expecting things to be as detailed as they are. Okay, with your carrot cake. I love carrot cake. I'm really, really pleasantly surprised. I really, really am. I love all of these colors. And it's like different stuff going on in different spaces. It's not like, okay, this is a house and they're baking. And this is another house that they're baking in. And this is another house that they're baking in. It's like everything has different aspects to it and different themes. And I really do like that. And they're also sticking with the, um, the theme of the land at the same time. So I really, really like that. So all of the furniture is within the same kind of theme and all of the items that they have are within the theme as well. Look at him. He said, Lord, if you love me, I want you to flip this thing over right now. Go on and flip it over. It's so cute in here. I love the airy feel. I love animals in Second Life. I do. I really do. I love a good animal in Second Life. Are you reading? Adorable. I feel like pets in Second Life and um, mesh people in Second Life, they really bring things together in my opinion and it really makes the space feel super nice super lived in and even that much more aesthetically pleasing i always love this concept of like the piano with like the picture collage above it 
I do like that. Oh, let's look at the bird. One of them ain't even in there. One of them said, baby, <laughs> one thing about me, I'm not going to stay up in the air. Now, you want to stay up in the air? You live your life how you like. But for me, we all up and through here. All up and through here. I know that's right. This land has such a relaxed vibe to it. I'm really, really enjoying myself. Look how cute it is in here. Oh, they got the little Christmas tree out. Really, really nice. I'm trying to think for Vlogmas, what we do like all Christmas things, like every place just Christmas. Or would we kind of do like a combination like um, for Vlogtober, we're doing like half fall, half Halloween, a little nice little mix. Look him done walked in the paint. Like, I don't even know who did that. It wasn't me. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do it. But I, I, I'm i very, I'm feeling very con uh, firm and confident that I'm going to do it. But I'll make an official announcement when we get closer because um, I don't want to put the, you know, put the, what they say, don't, don't put the cart before the horse. I, I don't want to do that. It's just like an idea that I'm really, really interested in doing. So I love that on this land, they give you so many different things that you can do. So many different role play options, so many different picture options, so many different chill spaces. And that's what not even living here. You know what I'm saying? So I really, really love all of these decorations. Look at this. I love a good, a little good bar. This looks like a nice little acai bowl. Mm-hmm. It's giving very much so tropical. Look how yummy this stuff looks. Love this. So you see how cool and relaxed this space looks? Y'all, this is a cool spot to just like kind of come to and just hang out. If you just want a place to kind of just escape to, mm -hmm. this will be the one. This will be the one. How cute is this? Look at the little seating space. So they have lots of seating spaces and this beach does wrap around. It has like three different entrances to the beach and every entrance has different things in it and you can access the other parts of the beach it seems just from going through one entrance of the beach and I do like that so like you can go all the way that way with the beach or you can go all the way this way with the beach and then they have the people out here which is super duper cool and I really really like that so yeah you guys that's it for today I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys tomorrow